exudative or wet age-related macular degeneration accounts for only about 10% of all AMD cases. Nonetheless, wet AMD causes about 90% of all severe vision loss in adults with AMD. In non-exudative or dry AMD, Bruch's membrane thickens focally, forming drusen. Areas of focal hyperpigmentation may develop, corresponding to regions of RPE hypertrophy and possibly RPE death. Certain markers, such as the presence of large confluent drusen, connote a particularly high risk for progression to exudative disease. However, we still don't know precisely what triggers choroidal neovascularization and wet AMD. Small, highly permeable choroidal vessels then proliferate and may breach Bruch's membrane. These vessels, along with the blood and other substances they exude, can contribute to RPE detachment and continued disruption of the normal subretinal metabolism. Over time, Fibrosis and or retinal hemorrhage can lead to substantial vision loss. Stopping choroidal neovascularization or at least slowing its advance is a key goal of therapy for exudative AMD. The better we understand the underlying angiogenic pathophysiology, the better our chances of developing effective, targeted therapy for this devastating disease.